Today we're going to divide tens, hundreds, and thousands. Let's go ahead and read the first problem it's asking us to do. Dustin is packing apples in gift boxes. Each gift box holds four apples. How many boxes can Dustin pack with 120 apples? Let's go ahead and highlight our question. The question is, read with me. How many boxes can Dustin pack with 120 apples? What are the numbers I need to use in my problem? Get it in. Gotta have the 120. What else? I'm talking to you, Kennedy. What other numbers do I need? Four apples. And it can hold four apples. Please make sure you have highlighted your question and have circled your two numbers. You can divide using a basic fact and place value, which is what we're going to do here. So example number one, they're taking the numbers you just circled and dividing 120 with four. So you need to look at the basic fact in that. And how do I do the basic fact? What have we been doing when we were multiplying? Is it the same thing we're going to do when we divide? Yeah, Mackenzie, what is it? Okay, so basically what did you take off here? I take off the zero. How many times in multiplication do we take off the zero and then add it back on later? A lot. We're going to do the same thing with division. So make it easier on you. Take off the zeros. We can always put them back on. So she's taking off the zero, making it 12 divided by 4. Okay, you know your 12 facts. So that means we're going to have 120 is equal to how many tens? 12 tens. So you'll write that in there. So that means then that I'm going to take 12 tens and divide that by 4, so I'm going to have how many tens when I'm finished? 3, because I'm thinking to myself, 4 times 3 tens is going to give me a total of 12 tens. So here's where you're using the multiplication facts. You may have to think backwards. What number times 4 gives me 12? Okay, so see how multiplication and division go together. Right, so that means I'm going to have a total of what when I am doing this? How many tens is that? 30 total. Okay, so 3 tens makes a total of 30. So that means I'm going to take the 120 divided by the 4 equals the 30. Now, if I was doing just the basic fact 12 divided by 4, I would do the 12 divided by 4 gave me the 3, and what do I have to remember to add back to it? Zero. The 0, that's where the 30 comes in. So that means Dustin can pack how many boxes? 30 of them. So if you have 120 apples and you're putting 4 in each one, you're going to get 30 boxes. Okay? Look at example number 2. Okay, this time they're dividing 1,200 by 4. So again, the identifying the basic fact, it's still going to be what? 12 divided by 4. So that means that I have 1,200 is how many hundreds? 12 still. Because now I have hundreds instead of tens, right? So 12 hundreds divided by 4 will give me how many hundreds? 3 again, because I know that 4 times 3 will give me 12. So what is three hundreds? Three hundred. So again, if I take my basic fact, 12 divided by 4 is 3. Now how many zeros do I have to add back to it? Two, because I had two on my first number of 1,200. So again, it's all about taking off the zeros and then adding them back on. Okay? Explain how to use the basic fact and place value to divide 4,000 divided by 5. So if I'm going to divide 4,005, what basic fact am I going to look at? This one's a little bit more difficult. Logan, what's my basic fact going to be this time? 40 times 5. Not 40 times 5, 40. What are we using? Divided by 5. So I'm not going to use times. I'm going to use times to figure it out, but I still have to use this fact, 40 divided by 5. Now, do you see what he's doing with one of the zeros down here? So you have to be careful, okay? So he wants to take 40 divided by 5, so we're going to say use 40 divided by 5. Yes. And so when 
I do that, what am I going to come up with when I take 40 divided by 5? So I will come up with 8. So I'm going to say it is 8. But what do I have to do to it still? How many zeros am I going to add this time, Fred? Two. Two, because I already used one of them for the 40, correct? How many do I still have left? Two more. So it is eight, but I will add two zeros. And write out the word zeros, please, to make. 800. So those are ones you're going to have to really pay attention to. Any time that you have 40 or 20 or 30, if you've already used one of the zeros for your division problem, make sure you don't add that back to it. Okay? So if you know your multiplication facts, should this be difficult? No, you're just taking off zeros. You're going to do the division fact using your multiplication to help you, and then add your zeros back on. Go to the next page, please. We'll see how much we've been listening. Following along so you can do some on your own. Now, this first section is going to walk you through a couple of them, and then they're going to let you do a few without having that step-by-step -step questioning. So, on number one and number two, you're going to see that they're going to divide a specific problem, and it's going to ask you for what the basic fact is that you can use, and it's going to ask you what you're writing into these places. So let's talk about this for a second. If I'm dividing 2,800 with 7, what's the basic fact that I'm going to use for that? Raise your hand to tell me. Ian. The basic fact that I'm looking at from this division problem. Guys, we're not using the multiplication yet until I get the basic fact down. There you go, 28 divided by 7. So I am going to use multiplication, but not yet. Okay, so now 2,800 is 28 what? Hundreds, and I'm going to write that word out in words, just like they did on the other side. So 28 hundreds. So now we're going to take 28 hundreds divided by the 7 is going to give us how many hundreds? Elena? Four hundreds. Good. She's talking or thinking to herself about what number times 7 can give me 28. She knows that that number is 4. So you will write the 4 digits and hundreds in words. So that means that 2,800 divided by 7 is going to give me an answer of what? Mace? If I have 400, how does it become 40? Say again. 400. Right? And again, how many zeros were in my number to begin with? Two. So should I have two in my answer? Yes. Unless, of course, it's one of those 20s, 30s, 40s, and those. Okay? All right, I want you and your group to talk through number two. It's the same problem except for they took away a zero. Talk about it, please. Okay, who can walk me through this? Now, Reese, what basic fact did you use here? 28 divided by 7. So the same one we used up here, right? So that means 280 is equal to 28 what, Brayden? 10. 10s. 28 tens is the same thing as 200. 80. So 28 tens divided by what? What are we dividing by here, friend? 7. So when I divide 28 tens divided by 7, I'm going to end up with 4 what? Still tens, right? And when I do the division, 280 divided by 7, I get a grand total of 40. Because 4 tens is 40. All right, these next three, three, four, and five, are asking you to use basic facts and place value to find the quotient. You do not have to write all of these steps up here. I'm okay with you not doing that, but I do need to see the basic fact that you are using. Okay, so let's say on number three, who can tell me what my basic fact is? Elena? So you're going to write down here 36 divided. 
divided by 6. Okay? Then you can write your answer up here on the line. So what is 36 divided by 6? 6. And then I'm putting what on my number? Zero. A 0. So my answer is? 6. 6B. See what I did here? I wrote out the basic fact, went ahead and got the answer, then I added my 0 back on when I wrote it on the line. See what I'm looking for? Alright, you're doing 4 and 5 with your group, and then I'll ask you for um, examples when you're done. Who would like to show me what they did for their basic fact and place value for number four? Enid. All right, so 20 divided by 5. All right, so 20 divided by 5. And what did you get when you divided 20 and 5? Four. Four. All right, how come not three zeros? There's three zeros in that number. Why not three? Absolutely. So when you're using one for your 20, you're not going to count that when you add your zeros back on. Does everybody understand that? That's one of those 10, 20, 30, 40s that we have to think about. Does everybody agree with 400? All right, let's go on to the next one. Number five says 4,500 divided by 9. Morgan, talk us through. Okay. 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 Okay, so 45 divided by 9 is 5. So your answer is 500. Does everybody see what's happening here? All right, you're going to do... Six, seven, and eight with your group, just to give you some more practice, and then you're doing nine through fourteen by yourself. 